my guys down here at the old creek in the little spot I was in the other day. I kind of found this new little area. I mean, sticking out here. I've been digging around underneath where this tree fell down a little bit. And looks like I got a jug sticking out there, but I have no clue if it's even close to hole. It's up underneath all these roots and stuff. So I just thought I'd get the get it started in, in the situation where it's at, in the spot where it's at. So you guys can see that. And, Try to get it out and see if it's whole. Alrighty guys, I got her out of there. And it is a complete croc jug here. It's got yellow with like a bluish color in there. I don't know, it's real nice. It's missing the handle. It's got a lip chip. It's got a little base chip, but it's my first croc and it's a jug. I like those, so maybe I'll try to see if I can fix the handle or something, but it's definitely coming home with me. I haven't got it cleaned off enough yet to see if there's anything else on it, but give me a second, I'll get right back with you guys. Sorry about the train. Stay tuned. Alrighty guys, got that jug all cleaned up here. It's real nice. Like I said, it's yellow with like a speckled blue pattern, salt glaze coating to it. Real nice. Too bad it's missing the handle and got a couple chips, but and when I first got here, actually I didn't film it yet, but I had one of these Terre Haute Brewing Companies from Terre Haute, Indiana pop up. Got one of those a while back in one of the videos, so there's a few pieces of a bunch of them around here. So, and this was kind of a little heartbreaker. It says uh, Baker's Standard Flavoring Extracts. It's all melted up. I might still kind of keep it for now. It's kind of weird and cool, but and this was a bigger version of the Terre Haute Brewing Company. So, got some good stuff going here. A lot of pieces. I mean, you guys can see. Some of the ones just sticking out, I've raked up into little piles and a lot of stuff sticking out. So, get back to it. Tune in once we got, once we got something else. Stay tuned. Alrighty, guys. Right when I started filming here, the sun went behind the clouds, but I got something showing there that I was working on a little bit, trying to be real careful. And then up here, and I don't know if I can find it. There it is. This hole up in here, something just spilled out. I saw its neck sticking out, so I pulled it out gently. I've already cleaned this up, guys, but look at this. Emerald green gargling oil from Lockport, New York, guys. I've already cleaned it up in the creek, like I said. I'm stoked to find this one, guys. I'm, green's my favorite color, and definitely on bottles. And to finally find a green one worth keeping with some embossing and nice old top and all that. Dig it out of here, the bank right here where this tree fell over, and right where this crock was and all that. I'm having a great little day so far. I've only been here maybe, maybe an hour, so. Heck yeah, guys. So I'm getting up in the light a little bit. Oh yeah. Super sweet. All right, guys, let's see if we can get this other thing out and I'll get back to you if it's anything real good. Stay tuned. All righty, guys, I got that bottle out. It's just another, uh, one of those Terre Haute Brewing Companies from Terre Haute, Indiana, but I did actually already find another one of those. So I've got two of those for the day, but this one is broken right off the top there. I was messaging uh, Brandon from the channel Adventure Archaeology. If you guys haven't checked him out, go ahead and check him out. It's a great channel. I learned a lot of stuff from him and how to find some of this stuff and all that, but I just messaging him or commenting on one of his pictures about his drinking glasses, so I might try to take this one and turn it into a drinking glass if I can. So stay tuned maybe for some of that, guys. So, But get back to it. Hopefully find something else. Still super stoked about this emerald green gargling oil. Super nice find for my channel, guys. Found a couple little, little slick cork top, and this one was kind of... Interesting. I thought it might have had some embossing, but it didn't. But definitely a nice little spot right here, guys. So this tree fell over. You can see here. I've got all my stuff up here. We'll get back to it. Get back to you guys when we find something else. Stay tuned. Alrighty, guys. I think I'm about finished up here for the day. Um, got all my stuff here rounded up. I just wanted to kind of show you guys this creek a little bit. It's real nice and calm and a lot of wildlife along in here. Birds and little muskrats and stuff like that. And there's a trussel bridge up there i don't know if you can see it too well you can kind of see the tunnel in there but railroad tracks right there and i'm in the middle of a of a town that dates back to the 1850s or so but there's the other way down there but i got all my stuff loaded up here you've seen a lot of this stuff already but there's that nice crock jug i wish the handle was there but hey for my first one I can't complain 
Got a couple of those uh, Terre Haute Brewing Companies, which I already had, and another Facker Brewing Company, which I already had. A couple little clear slicks, like a little perfume or something. Another little slick extract or medicine bottle of some kind. This one was a shame, it's another emerald green. But it's melted up, but it's the Piso Company. Pretty cool, guys. I'm still going to take it because it's all complete. It's not broken or anything. It's just melted up, but it's a shame it wasn't perfect. But this one, guys, super, super happy about that one. Nice, emerald green, gargling oil from Lockport, New York. Super happy to have it. She's seems to be in real good condition, so... I'm gonna get all this stuff loaded up here and get back to the house and get it cleaned up. And I got a few other things I found when I was here the other day and I found this spot exactly so that I didn't get on get on film, but get you guys back to the house and show you some of that stuff when we get back there. So stay tuned, thanks for watching. Alrighty guys, back home now. Got things cleaned up a little bit. Didn't do a whole lot of cleaning yet, but I got this nice emerald green one cleaned up here. The gargling oil from Lockport, New York. Cleaned up real nice. Uh, these were the Terre Haute Brewing Companies. I haven't cleaned these all up yet. I already have these bottles inside, so I'm not really in a hurry to clean those three up. Terre Haute Brewing Companies and the Fecker Brew Company here from Danville. These are a couple of the things I said I needed to show you guys I found in that same creek last time I was there when I found the spot I was at today. I didn't film these things, but this was a really nice little real light blue colored aqua insulator just has a star on it i'm not really sure what company that's from but a nice one to go in my little insulator collection and then i pulled out a bunch of these i could have brought home about as many as i wanted but i only brought home three nice ones but nice big bromo seltzer emerson drug company baltimore maryland so it's got that uh late 30s uh thread top or screw top whatever you want to call that but that was pretty cool and then <clears throat> the first big almost complete piece of crockery i found a big jug here like i said it's a like kind of like a yellowware with like a bluish gray little little splatter to it i don't know but the handle's missing it's got a little little base chip and stuff but all in all it's it's complete it's intact so I'll definitely take it and keep it. So, hope you guys like what you see today. And, you know, if you like what you're seeing, go ahead and leave a comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. And be sure to catch the next one. Douglas County Digger, I'm out.